What's up everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. For today's video, I want to talk about my Van Cleef bracelet that I get DMs about asking if I can do a video about it, what are my thoughts on it, and if I recommend it. So first things first, I've had this bracelet for 6 months now and this is in the onyx stone color in the yellow gold. I believe it only comes in yellow gold if you go in person, but... I think you can make it rose gold because I did see a picture of someone saying that they customized theirs in store. Yeah, they paid like an extra fee to make it rose gold. But yeah, mine is just in the regular yellow gold that they offer. And it's just a very beautiful piece that doesn't even look like an age at all from the six months I've had it. I wear this bracelet 24-7. I shower with it. I work out in it. I'm doing boxing and paddle work with Joey outside. I clean with it. I'm doing everything with it. The only thing I would not do is swim with the piece. If I'm going in the pool or in the ocean, that would be the only time I would take this off just because again, it is a stone piece and you want to make sure it's not going to get ruined by anything. So as far as having it the six months, there is no scratches on the stone faces. However, there is one little tiny scratch somewhere. It's like on some kind of corner and it's a very almost non-existent scratch somewhere but I really have to search for it because it's that small that minor but keep in mind they can scratch and I think the reason why it scratched was because I put it on this wrist with all these bracelets and if you really look at it together it hangs low to where my Cartier love bangles hang so I think it just got caught getting stuck underneath here and so it got scratched so i moved it back to this arm and ever since there's no new scratches there's no new nothing this is just pristine condition and it's just beautiful i simply love this bracelet i would oh my god i'm just so happy i got this bracelet it's something that i have no regrets on yeah it's just a very beautiful piece we're going to talk about the sizings so i mentioned how it sits like where my love bangle sit i wear a size 17 love bangle just for size reference and you can see how low it goes so i think i had two links removed from this bracelet so when it comes to sizing on the bracelet that's very important because it's how you feel comfortable wearing the bracelet so i think i removed two links from the bracelet and the way that they remove it or what they mean by two links it's not like saying they're going to remove one link here and one link here no they're going to remove two links from each of this part right here and if you're doing four links removal it will be four links removed from each of these parts from my knowledge and so i was contemplating between two links and four links because I kind of felt the bracelet sat a little too low and if you compare it to my Cartier Love bracelets it just sat a little too low I would prefer it to be about right there that's an ideal length for me but people mentioned that if you get the bracelet a little too tight you cannot put the bracelet on yourself it's going to be harder keep that in mind I can put the bracelet on myself with this length it's easy for me I don't need Joey to do it for me but I wear my bracelet all the time so it's something that I really don't have to worry too much about but it's a very comfortable fit I prefer my bracelet to now have a loose fit to it rather than a tight so I'm happy that I kept it at two links removal and not Four. but when you go into store they have different sizing kits that you can try on and just see what you feel comfortable with i also love the stack where people do it with a love bangle a juke and the van cleave that's a very beautiful stack but since my love bangles ever since i lost weight it sits too low for me that's the only reason why i stack up my bracelets because it just it's a preference for myself keep that in mind sizing is important do what's comfortable for you but we're going to talk about the pros and the cons right now so the first pro is it's a beautiful piece it's timeless it's something that's going to be passed down in generations and generation and it's a brand name that is becoming well known just like cartier they are making themselves well known around the world and it's just absolutely beautiful another pro is it pops out like can you just like look at this and just admire how much it pops out compared to my bangles like they just look like oh she has a lot of bangles stack right there but boom this one you're like oh she has a fan cleave that's nice and then the black color of the stone it pops out even more i'm very satisfied with the purchase that i made and it's just something that holds up very well i shower with it i do everything with it but keep in mind it's gonna depend on the stone that you get so the only stones i probably would be doing this to is the carnelian the onyx and maybe the blue agate the other stones that they have i wouldn't wear 24 7. i have heard stories of people mentioning they have the mother of pearl they wear theirs 24 7 for years and it still looks just as beautiful maybe not as shiny as when they first got it but it still looks 
beautiful but there are others that mention that they're shrank or theirs is just very dull looking something to keep in mind this is the only reason why i opted to get the black onyx as my first choice was so i can not have to worry about the piece and i wanted to make sure that i didn't let myself down if i would have gotten the malachite which was Originally, the one stone that I wanted the most out of everything, that's such a beautiful green color stone, but everyone that I read in forums, YouTube videos, they all mention you have to take it out. Like you, it's a must. You have to take it off. You can't sleep with it. You can't apply body oils or lotions with it. You can't get it wet because it looks dull. Even though that was an initial piece that I really wanted, even till now, I would never get that piece because I wouldn't want something that's just gonna dull out of me and you can get the stones changed in van cleef i think they charge you two hundred dollars to change per stone but i think it also depends i don't know if it's per stone or if they have to change all of it at one time but you can get it changed so if something happens like if one of my bracelet cracks or something or falls off they should be able to repair it which is Good. Another thing too is a lot of people compliment me on this bracelet. I, for example, was at a Chick-fil-A drive-thru and this woman asked me, oh, your bracelet's very beautiful. Where'd you get it from? I mentioned how it's a Van Cleef and she was just admiring how it just looked. Like she was like, oh, that's a very beautiful. Okay, that's really good to know. So I do get compliments on this piece. I used to get compliments on my love bangles, but... I don't get compliments on this no more. I guess because everyone has a love bangle now and it's so well known because everyone practically almost has it that people are like starting to notice this one instead. Now we're going to go to the cons. And one of the cons, I will say, as I already talked about this in this video, is it scratches. It's something that's going to be inevitable eventually maybe. You could try to prevent it and it is preventable. But that just means you have to be extra cautious with it. Just keep in mind, it can scratch, it can crack. It's a delicate piece. It's a delicate piece that does, does need to be taken care of. Show a little TLC. But for me, I'm just very ruthless with it. I just, I do whatever, you know. I'm like that with jewelry. That's how I wear my jewelry. But I wouldn't want that to happen to y'all. So be extra careful with your jewelry and another con is it's just a pricey item it's something that's just gonna keep increasing in prices vca is no different from cartier from louis vuitton from all these luxury brands they're gonna have the price increase and i'm not sure if they've had one from when i purchased my bracelet six months ago till now but i have heard that people mention that there is a price increase happening and whether it's true or not, it is something that is bound to happen. So if you are planning on getting the bracelet, if you have the funds for it already, I would recommend to not wait on it and just take the plunge at the moment. So that way you don't have to wait until they have a price increase and it's higher. But do what your own means and just make sure that you have enough funds that you can do it comfortably too. That's really the pros and the cons on the bracelet. Not too much, but it's just very beautiful and i absolutely love this piece as far as like my thoughts on it my thoughts are positive about this i have no regrets on this i absolutely love it my next purchase from them is going to be the blue agate and i am just super excited to just wait till i have that one day like that's just so beautiful oh another thing i want to mention is i recommend if you are wanting to purchase a van cleef piece to go in person it's just an awesome experience and it's just great to be able to go in person but the reason why i'm recommending to go in person is because if you are looking at the malachite the blue agate the mother of pearl they all have different hues to them and different patterns so for example a mother of pearl they can have like a pinkish tone mother of pearl they can have a white tone with the blue agate they can have like a blue tone like my shirt and it can range all the way up to like a navy blue it's just something to give you more variety options to choose from and that's something to keep in mind with the black onyx i think it only comes in one standard color there's no patterns in it there's no different shades of it it's just a solid black and this one would just be the safer bet as well as the full solid gold to purchase online but as far as if you want to get the mother of pearl the malachite the blue agate those stones i would recommend you visit a boutique nearest to you and just see which color that you like or which pattern that you like because the stones vary from different bracelets just because that's its own natural state that's how the stone is but other than that that's my thoughts on the bracelet. I highly recommend it. I love mine. I am gonna purchase another one in the future, but 
yeah like it's just very beautiful here's a little look of how low it sits on me because i know there are some people who may question on the sizing because i know i was one of them but this is how mine sits and it is a little low but i'm perfectly fine with it and again i do wear my watch here so if the watch is here it stops the bracelet from going all the way down to my wrist that is my thoughts on the bracelet guys and we're gonna go on with the rest of the day okay i'm trying to see if i can get a view of the bracelet okay i can't do it hold on okay i'm trying to get good lighting to show y'all what the sponges look like that's a smudge right there it's not a crack it's not a scratch it can be cleaned off and then look a brand new let me see I don't want to wear it, I just have to clean it better, but that's what I mean by it's a smudge magnet, just to give you a better view of it. Also, let me mention that this is your reminder to clean your makeup brushes and to clean or swap out your beauty blender. So yeah, this is your reminder. We want to have clear skin. We don't want to break out or have bacteria in the skin. Reminder. I am currently making short beef ribs right now and I need to cook it for like four hours. So I think I'm probably about an hour and a half way through now. How much time is left? You have two timers. Rib check with about 53 minutes left and a four hour timer with about two hours and 53 minutes left. Okay, I'm about halfway through. I am super excited how this is gonna come out. I did it once before and the ribs came out so tender. It just like fell off the bone. So I'm hoping that's the case this time as well. I will show y'all what that looks like when it's done cooking. Joey's also supposed to go work out outside and I'm debating if I wanna work out or not. It's like, do I wanna be sore tomorrow? Or do I wanna be comfy? But do I wanna be healthy? Or do I wanna be lazy? I want to know your thoughts on what I should do with my hair because I feel like my hair is definitely getting longer but I think the only reason why it looks kind of long right now is because I think my front ends are a little longer than the back. I have two options, cutting it short or and one straight cut throughout or if I should just keep the length, just trim out the bottoms just a little bit and kind of frame my face so just have like a little layers right here in the front and the rest long. Let me know your opinions on what you think I should do for my hair. We're just cruising around on the bikes right now and Joey's right there, just enjoying the beautiful air and there's lots of bugs out and mosquitoes, but it feels really good out. So I don't wanna miss this opportunity before it gets too cold to be able to ride outside anymore. We came to this certain section of the neighborhood that we like coming to and just enjoying the peace and quiet, looking at the retention pond and just listen to that. Nothing but wind and bugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, this is what it looks like, the finished product of the short ribs. Been cooking it for four hours now, and they're very tender. We're gonna have a side of green beans and spinach, rice, and some pinto beans. So we're gonna eat right now. Alrighty guys, it is about that time where I end the vlog here. If you have any questions about the bracelet or any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram. In the meantime, the next time you see me, I'll be officially 29. Also, stay tuned for an update jewelry collection as well as my love necklace because this is also something that I get questions about if I recommend it or not, but stay tuned for those. Anyways, I'll see you in the next vlog guys. Good night.